To enjoy the beauty and the magic of winter, it's important to wear a nice warm winter coat. This one is an old one entirely made out of sheepskin and it belonged to my mother. He is a little too big for me, but it's so comfortable and warm. And no modern jacket can match his warm. By cold temperature, you can really, really see a difference. As the temperature is very cold, it's going to be most welcome. It's a proper fairy tale code for a proper fairy tale snowy adventure in the woods. This week, we properly entered in the winter kingdom and it gently snowed every day and the day temperature at around zero degrees and freezing. To me, it's the fairy tale season. A lot of fairy tales and classic fairy tales take place in winter. Of course, on the sense fairy tales, Grimm's fairy tales, few scenes of Madame Donois fairy tales too. And a lot of my favorite fantasy fairy tale films also take place in winter, at least part of it. Winter is the season that I find the most inspiring for the snow magic, of course, for the quiet, the peace, the slow rhythm of life. It's the season where nature is sleeping and dreaming. It's the season which invites the most to dream and to be more contemplative and imaginative. And maybe those of us who were born in winter enjoy it more. I don't know. For some people, there is a dark, depressive aspect to this season, but in my case, I love, love the silence, the clean, poetic aspect of winter, the landscapes, the white, and the energizing cold, of course. It might be also the season for introvert, I think, for people who like staying at home, who like the coziness of a warm, inviting home after spending many hours in the cold and in the woods.
Well, the atmosphere of this season, the peace, the quiet and the cold sharpened my thoughts, for sure. I never failed to trigger new ideas more than at any other time of the year. And in full summer, the heat, the sun, the light have the absolute opposite effect for me. So I really feel alive, more happy in winter when everything gets lighter, where everything becomes possible. In my little book of the poetry of the season, which I showed you already for autumn, there is a poem for winter, of course, and there is also some interesting notes related to winter at the end with some historical informations and all sorts of interesting things. And here they say that the French king Henri III, Henry III in the 16th century, was known to lose all his softness in winter and he states for pleasures. He became um, more active, he reformed the country, he had a clear mind and took decision. So it's quite interesting. And it's uh, written a little below also that cold tighten our extremity. So we are more vigorous and braver and have more self-confidence. Feelings and thoughts have more depth. They conclude by saying that it's the season where our mind is the strongest and the most powerful. And this book is from the early 19th century, so I think it's quite interesting. And the author writes that it has been noticed that the biggest crimes and atrocities throughout history have been committed by the most freezing temperatures. It's something that uh, lawyers and people in the police have noticed at the time, so at the, at the early 19th century, and I thought that's quite interesting too. It's the season of hot chocolate also, which is so enjoyable after a long walk outside. And here this chocolate in little pearls come from the last old chocolate seller and maker in my town. It's a shop which opened in the mid 19th century. And the taste of this chocolate with pearls that you mix with your milk is very different from the supermarket cocoa or chocolate powder that you can find everywhere. It's very different and very, very tasty. Drinking a hot chocolate while the snow is falling through the window is for sure one of the joy of winter for me. And as hot chocolate was one of the two most appreciated beverages in the 18th century in France, along with coffee, it's the perfect drink for this afternoon working on my historical Valentine video series and I'm working on Marie Antoinette, she's one of the characters, very secondary character of the series, she's not the main one. So if you like Marie Antoinette, you will be surprised by what you will see, because this character, our main hero of this Valentine video series, you don't know him at all, for sure, he's absolutely unknown and forgotten now. <music>
will continue to work this afternoon on my characters, my decors and all the things I'm doing for this video series. While the snowflakes are gently falling outside, let me know if you like winter. I know most people hate this season, they're expecting spring and they're expecting summer. I'm one of the very few who love winter, but I will resist. I will still love winter till the end of my life. And if you also like this season, just let me know. I'm curious to know because it's very, very rare to know and to meet people who like this season and the beauty and the magic and the poetry of this season. So if it's your case, just let me know in the comments. You can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and you can subscribe if you don't want to miss all the nice videos coming, including my Valentine video series coming soon. Thank you and I will see you soon.